Hello, this is the clock guy. I'm going to show you a grandfather clock, or a long case clock, or a tall case clock, depending on where you live. This is one I acquired a while ago. Those pieces down there are to balance it. The floor's not level. It's not that the clock's not level. The floor sags a little right there. Show you the inside as I start it up. Those are weight cans. They're actually old Pepsi cans. They're welded together, little pieces of lead in there. The winding is this method. There's the inside of the clock. Let's get it started. There's a lot of information on the door. Many clock repair people used to write on the door in chalk. I apologize that I cannot tell you much about this clock. I can guess its age due to its wooden movement that I will show you in a minute. It does run really well. Take the bonnet off and show you what's behind this. Bet not many people have seen a wooden clock movement before. appears to be all original. It's in very good shape. None of the teeth are broken, which I would think might be common on a wooden clock movement. clock. o'clock. Isn't that amazing that these are all hand cut 
gears made of wood due to the fact that there was no brass available after the Revolutionary War. So American clock makers started making wooden movements until they could figure out how to make brass. There is a metal escape wheel, as you can see. Some of the original nails. It is a hand painted wooden dial. I am putting this clock up for sale, and the only reason is because I have too many tall case clocks right now. And I do have an Eli Terry wooden movement clock which I am which is right here that I'm working on. I'll show you just for fun. And this will be my wooden movement. I actually have another one here that has a wooden movement. I think it's a Jerome, I'm not sure. I just have way too many clocks. It does fit in this hallway, which is very Victorian. So this, this would have been possibly the clock that grandpa had, my grandfather's clock. And we would have carried on the tradition of having the grandfather clock in our foyer. Beautiful foyer. It's um, it's in great condition, I think, for for its age. As you can see. If someone would like to contact me about this clock, email me or leave a comment below. I will deliver it and if you are willing to pay for the delivery I will drive it several hundred miles uh, from New Jersey as long as you don't live in a big city like New York or Center City Philly or um, 
Baltimore, something like that. I will deliver it to maybe an exit on Route 95 or out on Route 80 maybe or the Pennsylvania Turnpike towards Pittsburgh. But um, I don't want to travel into big cities. I will meet you on at a rest stop area maybe in somewhere on a big highway. I'll put the hood back on so you can see it run one more time. It's got very thick wavy glass in it. see the reflection very thick it's a nice deep arch This is to correct the hour. This, let's say that the clock said six o'clock instead of five o'clock, and you wanted to correct it, you would pull this down once. It's now chiming at six o'clock. And this is pinned, so I now have to do this 11 more times. In my video, I didn't realize until I was looking at it that I didn't have the face all the way up. The movement was a little low. I didn't have the it mounted correctly for the pictures. I apologize. I'm not going to redo my whole video, but that is what it looks like when it is sitting correctly. Okay, so there's no, there were, in the video there was some gap, there was a gap up here and you couldn't see the 30, but I've since fixed that and I apologize. Thank you.